Hello friends, welcome to Sidza.com. Now we will discuss some of the chemical properties of alcohols. We know alcohols have a general formula of ROH and in our last video we have learned that uh, alcohols have some acidic nature so because of this proton right so here this hydrogen can be lost by the alcohols and they can form alkoxide ions and due to this it has some acidic nature. Alcohols because of their acidic nature can react with some uh, active metals like sodium, potassium, magnesium and here the hydrogen will be displaced by the sodium ion. Okay, So what do you get then? You get a sodium alkoxide, sodium salt of an alcohol and hydrogen will be lost as H2 gas. So that means, you know, the bond breaking occurs over here, right, between the OH. And you can take an example, suppose we got the C2H5 and say CH2 and then OH here. When we react with the sodium metal, so basically the sodium is lost as N, you know, H plus sign and it picks up a you know, electron from the sodium and it forms hydrogen gas, right? Okay, then two hydrogen atoms, they combine, they form hydrogen gas. And then here, this alcohol molecule forms a salt with the, uh, you know, alcohol molecule forms a salt with the sodium. So you get the C2H5, CH2, O negative, and a plus, right? So this is the sodium salt of an alcohol, and you get the hydrogen here, correct? This is just because of the acidic nature of the hydrogens. So when you balance it, you can you say two molecules of alcohol, they produce two hydrogen uh, atoms and that forms the hydrogen gas, H2 gas. So you can get the hydrogen gas from alcohol and the sodium uh, metal. Similarly, phenols. In our last video, we have learned that phenols are more uh, acidic than alcohols. So therefore, the phenols also react in the similar pattern, right? So phenol can also react with the sodium metal and you know the hydrogen will be replaced here and you get a sodium salt of you know the phenol so you get a sodium phenoxide ion right sodium phenoxide salt here and you get the hydrogen gas correct so th uh, this reaction actually confirms uh, that both alcohols and phenols have some acidic nature but since as i said phenols are more acidic than alcohols that we can confirm from another reaction, right? Alcohols are less acidic than phenols. So we can confirm this point from another reaction, right? Which is similar to this one. Here in this case, we react the phenol with the sodium hydroxide. What do you get? You see, this is a base here, right? Sodium hydroxide is a base. And phenol now will act as an acid. It will provide the H plus sign. And that will react with the hydroxide ion and form the water, right? So from phenol, you get H plus sign. From base you get hydroxide and it forms water and the sodium forms the salt with this. Correct? So you get a sodium salt of this you know, phenol which is called as a sodium phenoxide ion. If you want to repeat the same reaction with the alcohols, right? So suppose we react the, any alcohol with a sodium hydroxide, okay, then no reaction occurs there, right? No reaction can take place because alcohols are less acidic than phenols. Alcohols can react with the sodium metal, right? But alcohols cannot react with the base like sodium hydroxide or even the potassium hydroxide, right? So this was the reaction which confirms that alcohols and phenols have some acidic nature. Both react with the active metals, but not, you know, both do not react in the similar pattern with the alkali like sodium hydroxide. Hope you got the concept. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.